they just copy from one to the other, from one to the other. So some is lack of knowledge, some they know what they are doing. Okay. But at the end of the day, they should know it's an offense to others as well. Of course. Yeah. Then we've got some extreme people that are doing earrings. Mm. Where, where, what is extreme? Where do people just, just take it overboard? Especially well, women. For me, extreme is if you surpass the limit that you've been given. What's the limit? Because if you look at the book of Ezekiel 16, verse 12, where God told Ezekiel to deliver this message. So now he was telling the women to say, I have blessed you with jewelry. And mm. he mentioned specifically to say with with um, with uh, wristwatches, you know, like wristbands, mm, with cool. necklaces, mm. with nose rings and earrings. God didn't tell Ezekiel to say, I have blessed you with, with, with eyebrow piercings. I have blessed you with tongue piercings. I have blessed you with belly piercings. Mm. He didn't say that. So for me, if you just go beyond that, then that's extreme for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make it wrong? I think for me, what I'll be most interested in is does it make it wrong where you put your piercing? Yes, it does. Okay. Where? where how? Because like where I said, is it wrong? <laughs> like I said earlier, like as long as you just go against the word of God, because God has a reason as to why he said the ring should go here, here, and here. He has mm. a reason for that. And even if you look at tongue piercings, I've got friends who've got a lot of friends who've got tongue piercings. Every time I ask them to say, how did it go there? Or say, oh, no, I don't want to go back to that moment. It was bad. I couldn't eat. I was drooling. My tongue was <laughs> swollen. And there's others who, mm. they don't even heal from that. And when they are talking, yeah. you would feel they have a sweet in Because they're like, hum. Mm. And you're like, are you eating something? <laughs> no, I'm not. I have a tongue piercing. Yeah. But why put that if it's going to limit you? Mm. Why put that if it's going to limit you? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Ben. <laughs> wow. That's... <laughs> It's, it's a good topic on its own because, you know, I've been seeing it, you know, it has become like fashion now. Uh, it's you're free, uh, though. Yes. And uh, because, we, you know, sometimes we just copy things. You see someone is, you know, piercing and you also go for it. But you should ask yourself, why am I doing this? What is it helping me? Mm. Or if I know that it's maybe not in the right way, I think the best way, uh, even in churches, there are sometimes you find, you know, yeah, pastors, you know, son, you know, comes with, you know, hearings. I say, no, can I go for it? So the advice that I can give uh, to such a person as a clergy, as a man of God, I think we need to be very careful with what we, we, we go up to as fashion. It's similar to tattoos. This topic has been um, it's like similar to tattoos. Mm. We already did tattoos here before. Yes. But... I'm coming in from both sides of the of of of, of the uh, you know of the coin. So now, if someone wants to feel good about themselves and they put a nose ring, all right, I'll tell you what, it looks actually very good. I just don't condone nose rings, but it really, really looks good. Like fashion wise, that's all right. And also, a guy who got tongue rings, it looks cool to a lot of people's eyes. But I want to see the scene in it. I don't really... Diana has not convinced me yet that it's a sin because... We're still talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, 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 we're moving. I, I need to be convinced that this is where the sin is. Mm. And then people need to understand out there, okay, maybe this is what I'm doing. is a sin. We've talked about tattoos. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a type of tattoos. Yeah, yeah, and here, no, there. But where does it become... Where does it become really, really wrong in the eyes of the Lord? Well, there are certain, you know, places where we, you know we put those, uh, you know, stuff which are very sensitive. I think if, for instance, someone goes for, you know, the, 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 the piercing of the ear, I think there's nothing wrong. But, you know, I've seen it where, you know, young ladies, now they're putting the tongue, and some just even inside their body, you know, inside, where? you know, where, you know, sensitive parts. And I, I think <laughs> it's such a thing. Where, where know, it's sensitive uh, parts? <laughs> <laughs> you know, look out now, what you're putting me, you know, against the wall, you know, but you know what I'm talking about. I you, think, you, you, mean, know, you mean the eyes? <laughs> Inside they are, they are close. I think that's where the problem comes in, you know what? <laughs> God have mercy. <laughs> Inside the clothes. It's a family show. Yeah. All right. So we'll keep it PG. Oh, we'll keep PG. it PG. Yeah. We'll keep it PG. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen people that go mm. that extreme. Yes. Uh, where they'll go everywhere and they just want to put tattoos. And then in their defense, they'll be like, look, I like it. I like it. If, if you can't see it, why are you being affected by it? 
wow. <laughs> just to zero in on yeah. what the bishop said here, we ask the question, when does it become sin? Yes. All right. It becomes a sin when you can't explain what you have done. Okay. God comes to kind. Mm -hmm. What have you done? It, he was trying to be careful because the one who told us, don't judge. Mm. He didn't go direct to Cain to mm. judge him for the murder he had committed. Mm -hmm. He wanted to him to explain if he knew what he did. Mm. So he went and said, what have you done? Yeah. And now he couldn't explain what he did. He went on bluffing. Am I the brother's keeper? Blah, blah, blah. So in other words, it becomes sin if you can't explain okay. what you have done. Why are you wearing your ring on, under, on, as on, on or tongue. under, on, the on your tongue? Private parts. It's yeah. not me. It's Bishop Mibe. <laughs> so why? Why have you? Why? So let if someone can explain, mm. it's not in our place to judge. If they, if they can explain, Do why? You like they are. looking like, for instance, mm. you're a married person. Yeah. Okay. Your wife is your queen. All mm. right. There are men mm. that love seeing piercings on their wives. Mm. So if you say, "Hey, babe." I gotta see a nose ring on you, cause I like it. Mm. Awesome. I quickly I answered that. No, 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 no problem. Yeah. A nose ring in the Bible was a symbol of status and wealthy. Mm -hmm. When Abraham sent his servant to go find a wife for the son mm -hmm. Isaac, immediately the journey, the mission was accomplished. Yeah. The woman is found in the name of Rachel. The first thing he produced was a nose ring mm -hmm. to give Rachel. It was a sign that ukule yoku family. This is the status. Well, yes, rich. So there's nothing wrong with me giving my wife, if I so wish, if I so want, a nose ring. I'm simply saying to those who know and understand the interpretation mm. of a nose ring, they will know that oh, this woman has a status. This woman has wealthy or married to someone who's wealthy. Now, what has happened today, Diana? What is wrong now? <laughs> is when you wake up as Diana, and those that are watching me, my dear fellow women, you just pierce yourself and put a nose ring yourself. Okay, maybe giving it a bit of doubt. You are trying to tell people to say, I'm a woman of status and wealthy. But it carries more weight mm. according to the biblical way when someone <laughs> gives it to you, especially for, for a woman. Mm. A man gives it to you to say, please, I want to see you wearing this nose ring. It is symbolism of status and wealth. But today, alas, I'll be old. Everybody. 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 Even in poverty. Even in poverty, poverty. <laughs> yes. Even in poverty. They don't mm. because why? They can't explain. Oh. Going further, these things to do with earrings away from wealthy, it has also to do with identity. Mm -hmm. People want an identity. It's not me again, quoting what you quoted. Yeah. I don't know if Joseph will argue again. Mm. He says that in those days when you wear, he, what's that? Uh, uh, for the start, men, the the start, start, yeah. yeah, it represented homosexuality. Yeah. Left, so for left them, left. that was their identity. If they see a man wearing it a certain way mm. on the certain side of their ear, ear is it ear? Yeah. Then they know, oh, this one is one of us. Yes. Mm. Even without talking to you, they yeah. will know mm. yeah. that's your identity. But today, I wonder, and I shall to wonder, if people really understand that what I am wearing now, it's giving me an identity. Mm. One thing you shouldn't forget, there are people who are well-researched. There are people who are well-read. There mm. are people who know. Mm. Just by mere looking at you, the way you are wearing, even just mere clothes, mm. a piece of cloth can give you an identity. Yes. Mm -hmm. People who know, oh, this one. Some of us, just by wearing, are ah, you, the way you dress, I think you are a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't said anything. <laughs> Obviously, just yes. the way you are wearing yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of, yeah. Kind yeah, of you are a pastor. Yes, yes. So people, let's Why choose and stuff. Oh, oh, not, not, <laughs> yes, not, not, no, 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 no. Now, those are extremes now. Those are, oh, sorry. <laughs> those are extremes. Yeah, those are extremes yeah, you know. just... So let's not forget, my dear viewers, that whatever you wear, whatever mm. you put on, gives you an identity. Yes. Those who know in that particular realm will identify and associate you to what they know you, that thing for. Okay. That's what we are talking about. Yeah. So if, uh, like I'm saying again, for men, second 
Chronicles, for the sake of Joseph, let me be categorical mm, now. Mm. Verse 10 and 11. 33, sorry. Chapter 33, verse 10 and 11. When a man is taken and is given to wear that earring, yeah, whatever yeah. it is, it was a symbol, a sign of slavery. Mm. Mm. Yes, 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 yeah. To I'm sure slave. that it's a slave. So to me who reads the Bible and I see a man wearing an earring, I say, oh, so this guy is a slave. Mm -hmm. Will I be wrong? <laughs> He's in bondage. <laughs> He's in bondage. Yeah. Mm. So please, anything you wear gives you an identity. Then it's thirdly, culture. Like the Hindus, part of the Hindus. Yes. When they wear a, a, a certain oaklet or bracelet, mm -hmm. they will know that this one is a Hindu from this part of yeah. India. Mm. That's their culture. These people, that's how they wear. Some, they don't put it here. You know, they, even a wristwatch, there are people who don't wear this side. Mm -hmm. They wear this side. Yeah, they put it on the right. You see what I mean? Yeah. We, ask we do them, left. Ask them why. Yeah. If you say, understand. If, instead of putting a bracelet here, they will put it somewhere here. Mm -hmm. To them, that's their culture. They will tell, no, it's identity. Identify me. I'm not, it's an example. Yeah. I'm not a red Hindu. Yeah. I'm a black Hindu. Yeah. Right. Diana, your last words? So my last words are, whenever you do something or wear something, you need to, Think of why you're wearing that or why you're buying that. Because like Apostle said, it's about identity. Mm. And someone will come to you and say, this is from the Old Testament. Yeah. But remember, there are certain things that are still happening even now. Immorality didn't remain in the Old Testament. Yeah. It's still here even yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Sin didn't remain in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. It's still here. Mm -hmm. So before you do anything, think about it. How is How are people going to look at me? Is this aligning with my identity with Christ? Mm -hmm. If it's not, then stay away from it. Okay. Mm -hmm.